Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed. I have a super exciting recipe for you today. I'm making a delicious fish curry. Now this is a traditional Goan fish curry. You can use any kind of fish. I've used kingfish in this recipe. The gravy is just luscious and velvety and it is great served with some rice and maybe some pickle on the side. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now let's get cooking. I'm going to start with a pound of fish slices. I'm using kingfish, but you can use any kind that you like. Add some salt. A half teaspoon of chili powder. A half teaspoon of turmeric powder and just marinate it. You can find Kashmiri chilies in Indian food stores. They are not too spicy and they are used for their incredible color. To get a smooth paste, I've soaked six Kashmiri chilies overnight in hot water. And I'm just going to add these to my food processor without the stems. If you can't find Kashmiri chilies, you can substitute about a teaspoon of red Kashmiri chili powder. I've also soaked about a one inch ball of tamarind in a half cup of hot water and I'm just going to squeeze all of that tamarind pulp out and then I'm going to add it into my food processor. Next I'm going to add one tablespoon of cumin seeds, one tablespoon of coriander seeds. I'm also going to add about a quarter cup of fresh ginger, I just cut this in slices and a quarter cup of fresh garlic. I'm also going to add a quarter cup of onion. Add one teaspoon of coarse salt and I'm going to start to grind this. Be patient as this is going to take a while to grind. I'm going to add some of the water that the chilies were soaking in a little bit at a time. I like to turn my machine off periodically so that the motor doesn't overheat. Add a pinch of sugar, a half teaspoon of turmeric powder, and I'm also going to add a half cup of fresh coconut. Add some more of that chili water to grind. This is not looking too bad now, but we want to strain it so we get a smooth, silky gravy. Using a strainer, I like to push the solids right through with a spatula, or you could even use the back of a spoon. Whatever solids are left over, add them back to the food processor add a bit more water and grind again. Repeat this process for a few times till you're left with a smooth gravy. Typically, fish is not fried before it's added to the gravy, but everyone, including myself, in our family prefer our fish a little bit fried so I'm going to heat up some oil and I'm just going to shallow fry my fish on both sides. I find that frying the fish makes it a little bit firmer in the gravy and it won't flake or fall apart later. Because these curries are made without oil typically, I'm just going to wipe off all of the oil and I'm going to add all of that ground masala in. I'm going to add two green chilies which I cut horizontally. 
and four to five kokum petals. Now these are the coverings of the kokum fruit that is dried and salted. These petals will give the gravy the sourness that is typical in this curry. I'm also going to add five trifal or teflam. This is typically used when you use mackerel or bangra. It's very similar to Sichuan peppercorns and they give the curry a unique flavor. Add salt to taste. Cover and allow this to come to the boil. I'm now going to insert my fish and I'm going to allow this to finish cooking. This just needs a few minutes. Taste for salt again and add more salt as required. And this fish curry is ready to serve with some rice and a side salad. Enjoy! Thank you so much for joining me in Cravings for Adventures. I really hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for fish curry. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, share my channel as well as my videos with your family and friends and don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And be sure to follow me behind the scenes on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. Till I see you next time, do take care, happy eating, bye! Mm -hmm.